Do you want to study AC theory? Or would you just rather go back to bed? Amazing what a cup of coffee can do. Well, you're here, I'm here, we got the stuff. Let's get going. Let's put these meters down and get a couple others plugged in. We'll see what we've got going here. I've got some loads in the kitchen here. I've got a heat lamp out of an old bathroom fixture. I got a crock pot, I got a toaster, and I got a motor. And we're gonna put the plug these in and hook them up to a meter, see how they draw current. We're gonna see why. Huh. Maybe why we need to study some more electrical theory, AC theory, because I have a sneaking suspicion that one of these loads is not like the other. Let's turn them on and see what amp draws they have. How many amps do they draw? Got the crock pot. Right here, we're looking down here. It's 1.6, it'll settle out. 1.5 is the amp draw. Amps RMS, root mean square. Okay, let's spin the uh, heat lamp on. We've got 1.9 amps there. Okay. Now how about the motor? 1.4 amps, great. So I'm gonna put a couple things together. We're gonna just start off with a couple here. We'll put the crock pot and the heat lamp together, 1.5 and 1.9. We should get 3.4. That fits the rules that you've studied so far. Crock pot, lamp, 3.4 amps, perfect. Now the question is, the motor was 1.4, and when we add it in, let's see, we might expect 3.414 and get 4.8, but guess what we've got? Only 4.2. Hmm. Let's take a look at them individually. We'll make sure the motor is still drawing 1.4. Sure enough. Turn the crock pot off, the lamp off, just the motor spinning, 1.4 amps. So let's take a look at what we're expecting. Is it gonna be the crock pot, 1.5, plus the motor at 2.9, or not? Hmm, 2.5. What's with the math? Let's try it with the lamp. We would have expected 3.3, three, but 2.8. What's going on? There's something going on here. Because these two adding together got the amperage we were looking for, but we throw in the motor and something's missing. I wonder if it has something to do with the fact that this is a heating load. This is heat, incandescent light and heat. And this is different. Let's look at one other thing on the, uh, on the machine here. Let's look at a scope. We'll see waves, right? You guys know that sine wave, AC voltage is pushed through on a sine wave. And we'll go here where we can see the current. There's no current yet because nothing's flowing, but we'll turn on the crock pot. And the, the smaller wave is the current. It crosses zero at the same time, goes up, peaks at the same time, and crosses zero at the same time. It's in line with it. Okay, let's look at the lamp. Same thing. Look at the co toaster for kicks and giggles. Woo! Shot that guy right off of there. Look at it. But the key is, it crossed zero at the same point, peaks way up here. I'd have to adjust the settings to, to see the peak, but that's what it is. Oh, oh well, that's no good. So, let's take a look at the motor. Huh, do you see that? Put on one of these other loads and the sine waves line up. But if I just put the motor on, sine waves don't line up. 
the voltage crosses zero right in the middle of the screen, but the current doesn't cross till way later. And the voltage peaks right in here, the, the motor peaks off to the side. How does that work? Got positive voltage and negative current at the same time. How does that work? Just let's look at one more thing. Let's see, the motor's in there. It's out of phase. And the crock pot and the light would be in phase, right? Doesn't matter if it's one or two of them. It goes higher because there's a larger draw. But what happens if I put the motor in that's out of phase and the crock pot that's in phase? See what happened? It got bigger because that's more current draw, but take a look at this. The motor's peeking out here, but when I put them both on, it shifts a little closer. It doesn't go all the way back in line, but it gets a little closer. Motor only, way out of line. Add them both, they get a little closer. I wonder if I add the lamp. It gets even a little closer, not quite in line yet. Huh. I guess that's why we're gonna study some AC theory. We're gonna figure out what it is about this motor. So what is it about this motor? It's pretty small, but like most motors, they're, they're heavy. They're heavy. And I, I see something here, maybe you can see it. Inside is a bunch of little wire and it's wrapped round and round. You may be able to see it from that angle. It's wrapped round and round. And I'll bet you it's wrapped around some kind of iron core. Where have we seen that before? Huh. And you know what? Probably has something to do by the way this thing pulls current. It's not like the others. So let's put it down, pick up yourself a cup of coffee, and let's get cracking. Got a lot of learning to do. Best wishes.